of first grade. Today for writing, we're going to practice writing opinion writing. So an opinion is something that you think that other people may or may not agree with you on. The difference between a fact and opinion is that a fact is always true, no matter who you tell. For example, an opinion might be, soccer is the best sport. Some people might agree with you that soccer is the best sport, but others may think basketball is the best sport, or others might think football is the best sport. An opinion is just what you think. The fact might be, you can't use your hands in soccer unless you're the goalie. That's a fact because it's always true no matter who you tell. So today we're going to write opinions. Um, if you look here at this spring activities worksheet, you see a list of different activities that you could do in the springtime. There's climbing trees, feeding ducks, planting a garden, hunting for bugs, playing in puddles, flying a kite. These are all different activities that you can do in the springtime. You're going to pick one of these activities that you think would be the most fun to do. Now this is an opinion because what you pick might not be someone else's favorite. I'm going to pick planting a garden. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a picture of my garden. First I'm going to draw the sun. Then I'm going to draw some dirt in my garden. And then in my garden I might have some flowers starting to grow. I might have, um, let's see, I'll, I'm going to grow some tomatoes. I'm going to draw some corn. I'm going to draw, ooh, I love carrots. And I'm also going to add, let's see, in my garden I want to add some fruit, so I'm going to add a vine and maybe add some blackberries and some raspberries. There's lots of different things that you could add in your garden. Then I have to remember to water my garden, so I might draw a picture of me standing behind my water, my garden and watering it. Okay, once you're done with your drawing, now mine's not perfect, but I didn't spend a whole long time on it, but you can easily tell which picture or which activity I chose. Once I'm done with my drawing, you're going to tell me three reasons why you chose to garden. Or three reasons why you chose 
you would climb trees, or three reasons why you chose you would play in the puddles. Three reasons why you chose the activity that you did. You can number your reasons, so I'm going to say number one, I would plant a garden because I like I like watching things grow. Number two, and you don't have to write as much as I did. You could just start by saying, number one, I like watching things grow. You could also say, I like planting a garden because I love Colorful I love colorful flowers and number three I love fresh vegetables I love fresh vegetables. Now, someone else, you might also choose to plant a garden, but maybe your reasons are different from mine about why you like to plant a garden. Maybe you, when you plant your garden, you get to spend time with your family. Or maybe you like watering the vegetables and flowers. Or maybe you don't grow vegetables you only grow flowers or the other way around so there's lots of different um reasons that you could choose to why you like an activity i can't wait to see which activity you would choose and your reasons for why you would do it make sure that you are using your best first grade handwriting and that um you are starting your words with a capital sentence and ending it in a period that's what I'm going to look for.